What up, fish tank people? FishtankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks bringing it to you from Dayton, Ohio. Just dropped my girls off with my mom. <sighs> Stressful two hour drive. Had to stop, got to stop at Gerber's Tropical Fish. The dude is like the OG, he's been doing it for like 20 some years. He's got a great shop, I'm showing you the outside of it. Uh, I was actually here before anyone was here, and this my girl Lindsay was in here. Uh, cleaning tanks and hanging out let me come in here and then John showed up so John's here I want to show you guys around Gerber's it's a tight shop John hello again my friend what's going on hey, Dustin how are you he's in here I, I like I said I made him come in early with me or he, he showed up after me because I had to show his shop so John walk walk up here with me dude I uh, I always love how you roll with with the shop I mean I'm not a saltwater guy but I mean you just you come in here 28 years in the biz, right? That's right. That's a long time, dude. That's beautiful. Love uh, polyps here. Oh, do me a favor. Let's get that shark. Can you pull that out? Those are cool. Those are sweet. Wow, what you got in there? Stars in with them? Nice. Some certain starfish. It's a uh, polyp. Nice. Got a great brittle starfish nice. here. Those are cool. I was walking. Baby coral shark here. Baby coral? Oh, nice. Awesome, dude. It's got a nice maroon. What kind of an enemy to these, dude? Uh, blue carpet an enemy. Okay. Yeah, those had me at hello. Fun stuff here. Got some nice zoanthids in. Yeah, those These are from uh, Vietnam. They have a lot of different colors on them. They look really good. Yeah, those are sharp. Help me out. Gregonia? What are uh, these? Are, uh, what are those? Weltophilia brain corals. Oh, brain corals. Little softies. These are, yeah, these are leathers and bolts. They're soft corals. Yellow polyps. Got a nice little crystal shrimp there. Oh, nice. They're nice to put in with a um, yellow Watchman goby. Oh yeah, do you have okay. any Watchman oh, yeah. gobies? The gobies are right here. So ex have get, a get down close to this and explain. So I get yeah. the mics right here. Explain how this works with the Watchman goby and the pistol shrimp. They have a symbiotic relationship. So what they'll do is the pistol shrimp will dig a cave, and the goby and him will live in the same cave, and then they uh, the, they have a partnership and they guard the cage and they just it's, it's so the really the watchman right. watches the cave that the little guy did. That's right. right. Yeah. Hence the name Watchman Goby. And there's a different types too. I mean, there's a lot of these gobies in the Goby, Goby family that will work pair up. The watchman's that's, one of the better that's ones. A, that's a bad that's I want to talk about a symbiotic relationship real quick with your, ten, your fish with the sick. Because I showed it I showed yeah. it a video. I want to walk down here. Now John will not sell you skanky fish. Your girl told me I love those coral bandits. Always have. Um, but I don't want to get distracted. All right, so we're talking symbiotic relationships here. This is a fish you got in on tray. You took it in. John's real good about taking in tray, which I think is cool. But notice the cleaner wrasse all around him. Now that fish, I mean, you've been in the biz a while. Has that fish got a shot or? No, no, no. Yeah, oh yeah, no, he has a virus. That's It's a uh, virus? Yeah. But and it, actually by putting him in this new water and having the cleaner wrasse, there's the cleaner wrasse cleaner. Right. He, he's still got a good appetite. So there's a good chance that he'll, he'll come around and make it. It's a virus on there, huh? Yeah. Yeah, but I was watching the, the cleaner rats just pow, pow, pow. So we're going to walk around to this middle side. I want to show these these purple tanks. Excuse me, brother. Oh, sorry about that. You're good. So we'll show this section over here. He's got a whole section over here, too, but uh, really nice naso. Uh, Right? Blonde naso. Naso, is that right? Yeah, naso with the blonde naso. Blonde naso? With the... They have more above. yellow on them than a regular naso. Okay. Where are those from? Why he comes from the Pacific? In, no, he comes from the Indian Ocean. He's okay. by uh, the Maldives Islands. Okay. We acclimate uh, balloon mollies. Talk close if you don't mind. Yeah, we acclimate uh, balloon mollies, different mollies, to uh, saltwater so people can use them to start and cycle nice. their freshwater tank or their saltwater tank. Right, right. Instead of a lot of times people cycle a saltwater tank with damsels and then they're so aggressive and they're mean. down the road yeah. and they buy a nice fish and it gets beat up. Uh, Whereas the mollies will do the cycling and they're so 
mild that they won't hurt any of the other fish. Some of the black cat bass. Oh, I, I forgot that. It doesn't go. It's a $89 fish on sale for $49. Wow, those are sweet. Yeah, they're deep water. Are they? What a like beautiful brown. Picasso clowns. Picasso clowns. I was telling Lindsay, right? I was yes. telling Lindsay, I don't want to skip the box races on sale because those are tight. Uh, I was telling Lindsay that the uh, the purple tanks, which we're, we're going to get to, but I'm stopping at all your sweet ass tanks. I haven't seen convict tanks in a while. Those look good. Your little uh, Mesa. Mesa. Blue. Blue. Dories. And then, uh, wow, nice little butterfly. But I was telling her, though, I already down. These are the fish that actually got me out of the saltwater hobby. The uh, the cloudiness isn't doing me justice on here. I got to go from above. But purple tanks on sale for 150 bucks. Pretty sweet. They're one of my favorites. I've always wanted to do a school of them too. Like you should sell a six pack or something because they look so cool in a, in a purple school like that. Always been loving that. Juvenile. Juvenile Chevron tank. Chevron? When it's in its juvenile state, it's one of the most magnificent, yeah. ma magnificent colored fish. No, that's a beautiful fish. You got any other oddball salt stuff I should be checking out, man? Oh, we got stuff all over, does I know. That's well. That was one of the things too. And this is one of the things when you come to Gerber's, you gotta ask them like, where's the weird stuff? Because you just don't know because it's sitting there with like behind a pipe or something and they got it in. You don't know what to look for. I'm gonna do a freshwater video in a second, but always ask the people at any shop really like, where's the weird stuff? So I'm gonna walk down. Um, we'll go this way. All right, cool. You taking me to the freshwater section? I'm gonna show you one more salt. Oh, one more salt. All right, cool. Yeah, just so you guys can see this, they got the big thing. I want to get these big tubs for the greenhouse corals up here. Over at freshwater room. Yeah, always come in. Where do you go in any shop? But I mean, particularly Gerber's. Ask. I just, just I'm gonna go slow. She's got some really uh, awesome. The puffers are always fun. This system is slightly cloudy because they just put the new UV on it, but whatever. Look at that bass, that's sweet. Yeah, where's that, uh, hold on, where are the big puffers at? Yeah, Love these awesome. things, dude. Clown trigger, how much is that guy? Uh, $149. Oh, wow. That's a pretty good price, dude. Yeah, loving these. We actually donated Clown this uh, golden map. Talk, talk close to it, you donated yeah. it? Yeah, it's going down. They're picking it up Monday for the Newport Aquarium. No cool. Yeah. When, you know, when people bring us fish, then they get so big. They're, for the home aquarium, nobody really has a tank that big. So, no. Um, oh, dude, he's so awesome. God, he's so cool. So he's, uh, he's, he's so going to be cool. end up in a nice, huge tank. That's in the Newport awesome. Aquarium. That's cool. That's a great donation. Let's go look at the fresh water. All right. Oh, there's a beautiful leaf fish. Oh. Yeah, those are cool. Was it an angler or some kind? No, no, no. It's a leaf fish. Leaf from Hawaii. fish? Yeah. That's called a sea goblin. He's venomous. And then you wow. have a volatile line, which is common, but these are rare. I've you never seen, seen those often. in the pet shop. Yeah. What is it? Talk that's, close to the camera. Dude. That's a radiata line fish. That's badass, dude. And um, they're delicate, but we get them in and we get them eating frozen food and they do it excellent. All right. So, dude, I want to get some saltwater advice. We're going to go to freshwater real yeah. quick. All right. So, hold on. Stand here with me. All right, so John, you've been importing fish for a number of years, dude. What do you do? What's the tricks to getting fish in and like acclimating them? Because you're getting in like all kinds of rare fish. Like talk to people about, you know, while we're looking at some fish, what do you, what's the tricks to like get them in and get them real healthy real quick? Because people get them in and that's your job to get them in and get them good. But I mean like feeding them good, you feed them a mix. Like what do you, what are your, some of the tips for people? Well, the, the thing is when they first come in, since they've been caught in the ocean, they're not used to walk this way slowly. They're not used to prepared foods. Okay. So what we do is we'll give them some live ghost shrimp. Uh, we'll give them live brine shrimp the first day or two they're here. Live brine shrimp the first couple just, days? Just to no get, them, get them eating. And then when you put the frozen brine in a couple days later, they'll accept it because they're used to the live. So okay. You're just trying as many different varieties of foods on them as possible. We'll give them clams, uh, silver sides, We'll put garlic and vitamins in the food. Okay. We're just trying to give them as much different variety to get them healthy, get them eating, and then once we get them eating, and we can get them on four or five different foods, they excel. Okay, okay. And then I want to talk about, uh, just real quickly, 
your system is really legit on here. Well, how, how, how does your system, as far as maintenance and like routine on here, I know they do ridiculous water changes. How does this, how's this system maintenance wise? Well, what we do is we have, the, the key to a, a, a saltwater system is the bigger it is, the more stability you have. So we have a 5,000 gallon system. By having a 5,000 gallon system, we can regulate the ammonia, nitrite, nitrates, pH a lot easier than a small system. Gotcha. And then that way we also, having such a big system, we're able to feed them heavy okay. with our filtering system. Uh, I got you. If you don't have the right filtering system and you work. try to fill, feed them heavy, you're going to have spikes in ammonia and you're going to lose your fish. Oh, you. So you got to have the combo of a big system and heavy feeding. Big system and heavy feeding. You can't and, have it. Yeah. And 25% water change. Well, that was the other question I was going to ask. I'm going to show these. Walk back this way. Part two in the fresh room coming up.